screen manager and my laptop sometimes plays up a little bit. So I don't even know if it's working or not. <laughs> but hey ho, we can, we can just hope for the best, can't we, at the end of the day? Hope for the best. Um, we want like a nice white fence in this one. But like, um, maybe one of a bit more, yeah. Something like that, maybe like this. Maybe that was a little eye in it. I think that's quite, that's quite fancy. I've never really made a gazebo before, so this is kind of new to me. Like, is it a gazebo? Is it a bandstand? I mean, it could be anything you want it to be, I guess. I think it can. I think that's nice. I don't know. What do people think? Just a first, like, random attempt. <laughs> Pop that on top. That's nice. The little uh, roof piece. Oh, okay, yeah, it's kind of cute, actually. It's kind of cute. I vibe. I vibe with that. I do vibe with that, indeed. Okay. And it kind of, it does fit in with the whole village theme, doesn't it? Like a little gazebo by the, by the, the water and stuff, and... Yeah, let's get some stone wall in as well. Just to kind of path out the uh, whole whole way over here. Oh, it's been really laggy. <laughs> I don't know if people get in this with the Sims build mode. I get it all the time. Just constant, constant lag. I don't know if it's because I've now got like seven billion items on this uh, on this lot, but it probably is. It is probably my fault. So I can't be all mad. Um, not really, anyway. <laughs> not really. Um, oh, what, the stone walls you like? I love these stone walls. What pack are they from? I think they get together. Yeah, get together. For me, they've always just been, you know, the one. <laughs> um, do I put it up? I know, Hedge Archway's going to look kind of weird, isn't it? Yeah, the hedge archway. I need like, I wish there was like an archway. Oh, maybe we can use the, like a wedding arch. I don't know if that's gonna look really weird on this, but we'll see. I don't know what the wedding arches are under. Oh, maybe this one. Yeah, that one would be nicer. Yeah, same. I really wish every single fence had its own doorway or like archway or something because I feel like it's, it's a complete missed opportunity. It, it it doesn't make any sense to me. Like, why would you get a fence that hasn't done have a match in, like, swatch? Do you know what I mean? Like, to me, it doesn't really make that much sense. But <laughs> it's the Sims for you, isn't it? That's the Sims for you. We don't understand their design process. Um, sometimes we get what we want, and other times we're left high and dry. But I guess. That is what it is. Um, I might make this like a little little flower bed here. A couple. I've got benches over there, and I kind of want to go for that same vibe. On this. Any fun plans this weekend? Uh, no. Well, tomorrow I'm working. Um, unfortunately, I hate working Saturdays. My least favorite day to work of the week. Um, <laughs> but nonetheless, have to do it. And then on Sunday I've got a day off. But we're going. Me and my boyfriend. We're going to go to a, like a drag brunch I think where some drag queens are performing and I'm very very excited about that uh, I've never been to one and I think it's gonna be really fun um, we saw a video the other day of like a, a, a drag queen there and then, and then we like inquired about it because we were like we want to go and you have to like book places and everything so we did that and I'm very excited um, I've never done it before so it's gonna be really 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 fun I think, anyway. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, I've never been to a drag show either. Like, I've never been to a drag anything. I've only really got into like the whole uh, drag queen scene, scene like pretty recent, to be honest. Like it's quite new to me. Like maybe the past like year and a half. But um, I'm very excited. I'm very excited. Um, but yeah, what you got? What are you doing this evening? What are you guys doing this evening? Anyway, let me know. Tell me. Got anything nice planned or? Because I work in retail, so unfortunately, <laughs> I can never have anything nice planned for the whole weekend, but hey-ho. Make do, don't we? We make do with what we've got. 
Um, can I put anything else out here? Like that realistically is gonna fit quite nicely. Is there like um, is there like a, a beach map or something? Is there a beach map? No. Well, let's see what's in the maps anyway. Because there might be something. Oh, that's cool. I've never been to a drive-in movie theatre. Are they good? Because, like, it sounds, it, sounds, it sounds like something I've always wanted to do, but I've never done. And I, I think I'd love it, personally. Could be wrong. Could be wrong. I guess you get the comfort of your own car, don't you? And you can just chill out and not really have to worry about anything. Which I think is cool. Which I think is very cool. Yeah, uh, I watched Cruella actually on last Sunday. Yeah, last Sunday, and it was, I kid you not, so good. It was so, I mean, I know everyone hates Disney at the moment for what they do, but I mean, put that aside, like, it's actually a really good film. Like, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, and I, I thought I was gonna hate it. I genuinely went into that being like, no, it's going to be pretty bad. It's going to be typical Disney ruining. Like, um, I thought it was going to be like, you know, how they kind of butcher the rest of the uh, live action mix. But because it was like an original story, it was really good. Like, I just, I wanted more. <laughs> it was like two and a half hours. And yeah, I wish it was more. But it was like, there's like good like plot twists in it. I mean, it's pretty typical Disney. You, you know what I mean, but like I enjoyed it and I think you'll enjoy it. Just, just, you know, I went in with low expectations and was just pleasantly surprised. Very pleasantly surprised. Um, I want to watch it again. <laughs> I really want to watch it again. Like really, really, really want to watch it again. But, Oh, thank you. I, I, I do like landscaping. Um, and I've been saying, I don't know if you've watched many of my other streams, but I've been saying you want to keep like the theme of your landscaping to as few plants as possible, if that makes sense, like diff few types of plants. Because if you go in with like hundred different types of plants, it starts to look like a mess. Um, and like this lets you make like nice flower beds and um, things like that. And it's just a bit, it's just a bit easier, really. It's just a bit easier just to do it like that, I think, personally. It just makes it look a bit nicer. But, um, I think landscaping overall is, like, my favourite thing to do. Like, just, just in general. In general, it's just really fun for me. Like, I would happily be, like, a landscape. A landscaper. Landscape designer. Of some sort. <laughs> of some sort. But, you know. I'm happy where I am now, um, but we'll see, you never know where life takes you, do you? Oh no, it just takes practice, like, I kid you not, I was an awful builder, like, um, a little while ago, like, <laughs> I really struggled to build, like, anything, um, you know, I always used to think my stuff was amazing, I look back at it now and it wasn't, like, my old stuff, I and mean, I'm talking only, like, a couple years ago was awful it wasn't until i like took you know just looked into it a bit more that i started getting better and i started watching more people on youtube and i started just you know take my time a little bit that it, it got it started to get better so it is all about um practice i think at the end of the day and it's all about um trial and error like there are so many things that i build and i don't post still because i'm like nah this isn't good enough to show anyone like, we all have those days as well, so, um, do you know what I mean? So it's not, it's not the worst thing that can happen at the end of the day. <laughs> you know, worst, the worst things can happen than a, a bad day of building, so, it's just, it's just fun. I love it. I absolutely love it. I want to make this my full-time job one day, I think. I would, if, if, if I could be, like, a builder on Sims, or Sims YouTube, or Sims Twitch, or a Twitch streamer, like that is the end goal. That's the end goal. We'll just see where life takes, I say. I'm just gonna keep chilling, I'm just gonna keep playing my game, I'm just gonna keep having having fun at the end of the day. 
I'm on the path, that's true. That is true. Like I realistically I've only been what Twitch streaming a month and doing YouTube for five months. Um I mean YouTube yeah I've, I've kinda of slowed down but I've been so busy I haven't been able to make videos. Like I've got videos made, I just need to do voiceovers and <laughs> get around to it. It's just um there's so much like we're doing up our flat a little bit, um and I've been so busy with that and just spending time with my partner and just, you know, just chilling out realistically. But, um, do I want this tree in the middle? That's a little weird. Um, but yeah, that's kind of like where I'm going. Um, that's it. I'm literally nine followers away to uh, affiliate, I think it is. Um, so I'm excited for that. I'm excited for that. Uh, and you know, I do get a few new followers every, every you know, a week or so at the moment. I mean, I haven't streamed in like a week and normally when I stream, I get a few. So it's just getting the word out there. Like finding the best time for people to watch my streams as well. I'm, I'm struggling with that side of it because at the moment I do find it quite hard to find the time for everyone. As I know a lot of guys that watch overall in, in uh, America and things like that. And uh, yeah. Um, well, yeah, I have my own Discord and I have a Tumblr, but I don't, I don't really know where else to promote. Do you know what I mean? Like there's nowhere else I, I have easy access to if that makes sense to promote so um yeah it's just one of those things like if, you know i'll build my audience audience as i go and it'll be hopefully quite organic i want to do it more organically and just oh there's some rocks i was looking for these but don't know any room for them. um i guess that's kind of it really i just want to do it organically i want to do it slowly i uh, i don't want to rush anything like one little campsite actually. Why didn't I think of that earlier? Or oh no, I've got that campsite over here. Um, I want to fence this off anyway and make this part of the entryway. But oh, Reddit, that's true. And and everything. I don't use Reddit, so I don't even know how Reddit works. If I'm honest with you, like that's quite a, a new thing to me. Um, I, I think I prefer this tent. I think this tent's cooler and it's obviously more functional than the other tent. I think if I do that, get rid of that. What do I put over here? That's what I'm. Mm, I don't know. There may be a little market stand actually. A little, a little sales area. That might be quite cute actually. You, I haven't play tested it, but I'm hoping you can. Like um. Like technically, this is the second floor, the way I've built it. In my video, I've, uh, you have to dig down like here and then you build a room. Like, um, I'll quickly show you. You dig down. No, 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 it's an actual platform. So I, I won't show you because I'll mess with my, I'll, I'll, but you dig down, you build a room and then you build, this is like the roof of the room, if that makes sense. And you build, you can just, that way you can go across it. If that makes sense without, like, um, I'll have to do a video on it explaining it. It's easier when I do it, but um, it was, <laughs> that was the one of the things I struggled the most with. But I managed it surprisingly quickly, like in the end. Um, yeah, I think it's just one of those things. <laughs> just one of those things. Um, but yeah, but it was fun to do. It was very fun to do. And it should work. I'll play test it. I need to play test this whole lot. I've play tested nothing. I've just been building, but I don't really play on my lots anyway. Like that's not really a uh, a thing for me to do. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't really play test. I don't really play The Sims as like gameplay. I'm, I'm I literally come here to build. At the end of the day, um, so you know that's just it really. Yeah, I need to do a tutorial video on it. I'm, I've been thinking about it. But it's just getting around to doing it. I'm just terrible <laughs> at getting around to doing anything. Um, but I'll get there. Once I filmed my other videos, um, I might try. Um, don't think I've got time tonight. I'll find time and I'll do something. <laughs> um, it was so much easier when the lockdown wasn't happening. 
Do you know what I mean? Like when the, no, when the lockdown was happening, sorry. When that was happening, I was finding it so easy just to, just to make videos and have time for content creating and things like that. Like it was so easy that, um, yeah, it was just so easy. <laughs> it's just gotten so much harder. Um, cause I work literally full time. So I work, uh, 40 hours a week travel a good what hour every day i think roughly but like, to and from work like half an hour each way so overall like i do work a lot um and travel a lot and then i've also all, all my household chores and like spending time with my partner and things like that and it just it all adds up eventually um and for the first few weeks i was doing okay but i think recently i've just had so much to do that it's been um it's been a bit of a struggle, if I'm honest. But either way, we're gonna we're getting there, so that's the main thing. <laughs> we're getting, getting there slowly. Getting there slowly. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not. I I had that mindset for a bit, and then I kind of didn't let that consume me too badly because I was like, well, at the end of the day, it could be worse. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? Like, it could be worse. Like at least I'm not I'm not forced to make content. Um, do you know what I mean? Like I just take it easy, and if this works out for me, it works out for me. Do you know what I mean? Um, if I can make it work, I think it'd be easier. I don't have an office. I think that is one thing that really holds me back is uh, not having like an office space or a space to work because. I'm working on, I don't even have a desk. I'm, <laughs> my desk is like a set of drawers um, and that's all I've got. And it's in it's in our bedroom. So obviously I can't stay up late and do it if my partner needs to go to bed, um, which obviously would be like a prime time. Do you know what I mean? To do it. So um, it's just one of those things, isn't it? Like, it's just one of those things. And I'll get there in the end. We'll, I'll work something out and, you know, any way I'm going to make it always work, I think. I'm gonna try and make it work as, as much as I can. Um, okay, I'm vibing with this little corner. I am vibing with that little corner. Um, yeah. Either way, um, I'm liking this so far. Yeah, it's all you can do, isn't it? It's all you can do, can't do too much. Try your best and that's, that's, that's all you do. As long as you try your best, everything's good. But, either way, I'm liking what I've got here so far now. I'm really, really liking this. But maybe put a signpost up here. Just, just a random sign, just to fill up that space because this space is quite empty. And I'll put a couple trees. Get some bushes. Where's my? I like these little bushes. The old kept strawberry. Weed. Like that. Yeah, that's nice. And get some hydrangeas. Um, let's get some terrain. I always forget about like the terrain paint. <laughs> just one thing, I just forget it exists. And then I remember, I'm like, oh yeah. Ah. <laughs> Soften it a bit. I don't know why it's been so funny around this, but probably all the hills I've got going on. <laughs> Probably making it difficult for the brush to understand what's going on. I've really overdone this garden, am I? This garden is like mad. <laughs> um, I think I'm almost there, you know, with the whole entire, uh, with the whole entire lot. I think maybe just some like, I just need a few little, maybe bring this bush out a bit over here. With the lavender, wherever the lavender is, I need some lavender. How long did this, mm, that is a very good question. Um, 10 hours, maybe? I don't actually know, I've, I all, hmm. Stumped me on that one. Maybe, I do, I do, I do like an hour or two hour streams, hour and a half to two hours, and then I've done like five of them. So I guess maybe, yeah, around 10 hours. I mean, it takes me like realistically two hours to do each house, one hour to do a house maybe. Um, like I'm a fast builder when it comes to houses. It's just the landscaping, I'm spending a lot of time actually um, 
finessing and trying to get perfect. Um, so, you know, that's that really. <laughs> I am pretty fast, but I don't think. So a lot of the stuff I build sometimes, I build so fast, and I look at it going, oh, I didn't think about that, and then it doesn't look very good. Um, I wanted to do the lake, that's what I wanted to do. I remember now. I wanted to get some nice sort of lily pads and stuff going on in here. Get some like floating, floating reeds and stuff. This can take a little while I think to get perfect. <laughs> but, do you edit Sims 3 camera? Um, I think. Yeah, Sims 3 camera. I don't like the Sims 4 camera. I hate the Sims 4 camera. Oh yeah, I never, ever, <laughs> ever use a Sims 4 camera. It was so clanky and I can't get used to it, but yeah. Oh yeah, I wish, I wish. I was saying this, when I was first building this lake, I was like, I wish we had a pond tool. Like it's the one thing that we really, really need and we haven't got. And to make fountains and pools into ponds is very annoying. The only perk of this is, is you get to swim in it. So I'm not that mad about it. Like this acts as a nice big swimming pool um, that you can literally get in anywhere. But at the same time, I agree with you. They, they annoy me, this, this Sims team. They do annoy me. <laughs> It's one of those things like, why did it not come in with the terrain tool update? Do you know what I mean? Like, why did that not come as like a staple part of that update? Because now we're stuck <laughs> with this as it is, and this, yeah, it's very annoying. It's very annoying, but like, what can we do? What can we do? Make do. We make do with The Sims because we love The Sims, even if we don't get everything we want or need. We're slaves. We're slaves to The Sims 4. <laughs> slaves to The Sims 4. Um, I think I need some bigger trees in the back here. Like, what was the bigger tree that I used? It was the willow tree. I might put this pine tree in. I'd say it's, it's, it's called a pine tree. I don't believe that for a second. <laughs> it doesn't look like a pine tree. Yeah, true. I mean, I didn't buy the latest one. I haven't bought the, um, I thought I was gonna, and I didn't, the Dream Home Decorator Pack. I was just, I, I was so gonna get it, and then I, I, I didn't. And I don't even know why. I was just like, you know what? I can wait. I'm gonna wait for it to go on sale. Um, it's, I'm, I just don't like the items. I'll be honest, I don't like the theme. I like the, um, like, I like the sexual sofas and that. I just don't like everything else. <laughs> I just don't like the, um, I don't know. It just looks like weird, Ikea-esque, but I don't like the, I don't like the rounded edges, let's put it that way. I really, really don't like the rounded edges. I wish, wish everything was squared off. Um, I don't like the sofa, well, how the sofas look either. It's just, it's just little little things that I'm like why Sims team why but hey ho is what it is is what it is um but eh. 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 <laughs> um but yeah no I like it but not enough to to buy it yet, to spend, well for me it's £18, it's not too much, but there's things I'd rather spend money on at the moment, like they, they, they haven't managed to sell it completely to me, I think, which is so strange because it, when it, when I first heard of it, I was like, I love this, this looks so cool, like do you know what I mean, and then it just wasn't, just wasn't enough in the end, just wasn't enough, I was hoping for more. I think it would be in my top three game packs, but I don't like game packs. I um, I stand by they shouldn't have introduced them. They should have just kept to the expansion packs and stuff packs. And I think they should make kits and expand kits into stuff packs. I think that's a much smarter idea. 
it feels almost like a cop out. Like, if I'm honest with you, that's that's just what it feels like to me. But I don't know. Yeah, what do I want as a kit? Um, I definitely want a plant kit. I want like a gardener's dream kit pack, or like, oh gosh, um, yeah, mainly that. <laughs> maybe like a house plant kit. Maybe like um, a, f a decorator pack. Like a kit just full of loads of like clutter and wall decorations. Um, maybe like the theory did like the my first pet stuff pack and released that as a kit, but different like with more stuff. Like I don't know, there's things that like I think could really do. Like it, I, f I almost feel, wish they expand on things like bust the dust. Like I love it, but you know what could have really really made that better would been if they had like feather dusters and you could dust like the, the shelves or like the paintings, the mirrors and I think having that aspect of being able to clean everything a bit more like obviously not like ridiculous amount that you get so fed up with it within like 20 seconds <laughs> that you're like over it but brooms yeah brooms like why do, why do we have to why can we not sweep like why you know it almost feels strange um but you know what, the Sims have their own way of working that we can all disagree with at the end of the day, but at the end of the day, they give us really good content. Like, fair enough is buggy, fair enough, <laughs> but at least they give us content. Do you know what I mean? Like, at this, you know, in this day and age, what game isn't buggy? Like, what game do we not struggle with and ask for updates and everything? Yeah. Oh yeah, music related kit. Yeah, something to update that, like like a band kit or... Do you know what I mean? Like, I agree with you, like, we could really do with something like that. Um, I think that'd be really, really, really smart, actually. Let's go there. Um, but, yeah, no, you can't make everyone happy with The Sims, and I think, <laughs> I think we've all learned that by now. I think we have all learned that, but you know what? I think I'm done building this actual lot. Like, I genuinely think that it's done. Like, I can't think of anything else that I really, really, really want to do to this. I feel like if I do any more, it's gonna be over the top. But I wanna, I wanna make, put a sim in and I wanna have a little look around, like, through like the tab view. Um, I think that should be really fun. Because how much does this lot cost? This lot costs almost 400,000 simoleons. Um, well, there's that. <laughs> there is that. Um, oh, thank you for the shout out on Twitter, by the way. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, I think it's 60, yeah, 64 by 64. Uh, I went for like the biggest lot because I knew this was going to be a big project. So let's just jump into Manage Worlds. We'll get a sim in and we'll uh, we'll have a little look around what I've built and what I've created uh, over the past couple of weeks. Um, but this is annoying because now I've got to think of something else to build. Um, let's just get my sim. Let's just get me. Where is Where's me? Here's me. We'll get me because this is the easiest. Um, free, free real estate, because we, uh, we're we not earning all the money to move here. Furnished, can you imagine if I clicked on furnish? I'd be so mad. <laughs> I'd be so angry. <laughs> Just to lose everything that I furnished the whole entire lot with. Um, but hey hey, let's go into play mode. And let's just hope it's daytime, because I'm, have I played in this world? I don't know if I've played in this world. I shouldn't have played in this world, let's put it that way. I shouldn't have played in this world. Um, do, 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 do. It takes ages to load this lot as well, by the way. This lot takes me like hours. <laughs> um, no, it's in Windenburg, Get Together World. Um, I think it's my favorite world, apart from Ridley Bay. Um, okay, it is, it is the evening, 
But let's just test this. Can we walk over here? Can he walk across the bridge? This is the question. Yeah, so you can see here where it's over at split level. But there you go. So you can walk across the bridge. Um, there we go, perfect. Um, I might just leave him just run, like leave it playing in the background whilst I actually have like a proper look. So oh no, I want I want to be able to see the trees. So we're gonna we're gonna have a little browse because um, I've not done this. I've kind of done it to look and take screenshots of all the houses, but from here it's really cool. So you got like your church house, your play park. Oh, if I press the right keys, that would help. <laughs> oh, and he's already swimming. That's fine, we'll let him swim. <laughs> but this is our little play park, which I really like. You got all your stuff for the kids, like I made a, a, a fake sand pit and stuff. And all the trees moving, that's really cool. That's really cute. Um, and let's go, I wish you could move faster. Like I wish you could move faster, <laughs> this is so slow. Um, yeah, so I'm glad it works as like a big pool for them to... Oh, he's getting food, okay. That's fine. I like this tent so people want to stay over. Obviously, like, I've got there's so many beds in this lot. Like, you could kind of make it as like a multi-sim, multi-house uh, sort of one. Um, but let's have a look. I love this house. So this is like a, a haunted uh, church someone's moved into and they try to make it really cute and friendly by putting in loads of <laughs> little cute toys and everything. Ignore that wall, I don't know why it's not painted. It was painted originally, but hey ho. Um, I really like this kitchen. Like this kitchen feels cozy. Uh, it's really small. I didn't clutter it too much because you needed, you know, counter space. But I've got some artwork up and stuff. Um, then you've got the bathroom. Any ha, which I love. Like, I just love this whole room. Um, and then up here, it's like a loft. So you, you got the bed up here with your desk and everything. Um, and it just looks out. Obviously, ignore the fact these are floating. There should have been a ceiling or some beams, but I forgot. <laughs> um, but I really like this house. I just think it's really neat. Um, so let's just fly across the lake. So you've got the nice lake there, with the ha that house over there looks over onto the lake, I think that's really cool. Um, let's go, oh, 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 <laughs> freezing up here. Oh, you can go fast, but hold on shift, okay, I've got it, I'm there now. Okay, so I love this house, this was a gardener's dream home. Um, so obviously that, hence all the plants and the flora and everything, and oh, there's my sim, he's, he's in this house. So <laughs> you've got like a little painting area. Like the whole idea was you didn't want to have a big TV. So you've got the little TV in your little cute little room, a little fireplace and everything. Like your little laundry area. And I love this kitchen. This kitchen is bright and colorful. Um, in one of my streams I came back and that whole room had been deleted. <laughs> so I had to like rebuild it. And I'm hoping it kind of matches what I had first, but I just really liked it. The little hanging plant and everything. Um, like these houses, they're quite small. Um, and I built a ladder in this one. I didn't want to have a, a staircase take up half the house in this one, so the ladder felt like a good option. <laughs> like there's just plants everywhere. Uh, the bedroom's quite sort of like empty um, and stuff. And I think the bathroom is just a standard bathroom. It's just, uh, it kind of matches the theme of the house and everything like that. But if you go around the back, you know what, we're gonna have to speed through the night because um, I don't know how to change the time and I don't wanna look at this whole place during the night, <laughs> basically. Um, so we're just gonna have to wait, we're gonna have to bear with my sim. Can I force him to go to bed? Where's he gone? He's gone to another house, but can we just force him to go to bed? Please, <laughs> just so we can get through the night. Um, come on. 
Okay, we're going, we're going that way. That's fine. Whatever works for you. And then we can speed through the night and hopefully he stays asleep until I wake him up. <laughs> and then we're all good. And then we're all good. Um, but Tour in my village. Sorry, I'm just making another tweet. I feel like people miss it. I feel like people miss it, so it's always good just to get... No, we, we've woken up and it's still night time, so go back to bed. Please. Just just for now. <laughs> just for the minute. Okay, you know what? That will do, because it will slowly get brighter and he'll look after himself. But, either way, in this bit, so we've got... Oh no, I want that tree. So we've got like a little seating area out here. We've got the greenhouse with the with the bees and everything, um, which I thought was really a neat idea. Like the extension's always made out of stone and stuff like that. And there are trees here, but hey ho, they're missing. Uh, a little fishing spot and everything. And yeah, I just really that house I love. I absolutely love that house. Um, but let's see what's in here. So this is the gazebo we just saw me build and I think it, it really works well with the whole theme I think we've got going on. I think it just all ties like everything together is like the centerpiece for the whole for the whole thing. Um let's go into let's go into this house. So this house was the first house I built for this uh whole lot and it was like the traveller's home like a, a widowed traveler whose uh, partner died tragically while on their travels um so <laughs> they got a plane um a bike and then on the inside it's just cluttered with things they've collected uh, and they're also obsessed with the yellow so everything is yellow in, in this house <laughs> so it's very very small like this is like literally two room house um you got like your dining table here like straight in you got the kitchen which is just cluttered and full of everything like the country kit really works like this um and yeah you can see they've just got like little artifacts everywhere so you've got like the sulani one you've got the little totem pole you've got the frog the plate in the window um, just baskets in the mirror like just just everything is cluttered and then you go into the bedroom um no dining table is from jungle adventure i think I don't think in any tables that came with the Oasis kit. The Oasis kit was really small on furniture. It only came with like a few chairs, um, like coffee table and lights, I think was kind of about it. And the rest of it was like more build mode stuff. But um, the bedroom is very like kind of peaceful, tranquil, less clutter. Obviously I thought it's nice to have a space just to chill out in. Um, and we got the little bathroom in here with bright tiles, um, keeping with the Jungle Adventure theme and that like I use a lot of the Jungle Adventure. Um, and then outside the back way, we've just got kind of your stereotypical stuff to do your laundry, a little bench, a little pond with some sort of seats outside. Um, and that was kind of it for this house. But like, it, this is probably, I know I said the other one was my favorite house, but this one might also be my favorite. Um, I think they're all my favorite because they're all good in different aspects, like in different ways. They've all got their own sort of just, feel to them and I think that's what I like about this like you can tell there's lots of different people that live here um right now this is the final house I built so this house was it's supposed to be like a massive family home it's got quite a few bedrooms obviously conservatory like it overlooks the lake and I thought that's really nice it kind of reminds me of like a Canadian sort of um lodge almost but I've gone for like really modern on the inside so like really really modern <laughs> so like i've like sized up a fish tank put it on like a kitchen counter and things like that and i think like you just got like a little laundry room in here which i think is really neat um bright and yellow bright and colorful and then like got like a moody sort of dining room area seating area um try to keep it minimal as i can i and i just i just loved that and then the kitchen i really like like i would love to have my kitchen looking like this so you know all very open plan uh, lots of island space, lots of couch space. Um, and I love building modern. Like, modern is my favourite way to build. Um, I love building cottages, but, like, modern... Like, I had to do one modern build on this. 
that was like really modern but like just a little simple bathroom this conservatory i'm obsessed with i've made it into the living room which i thought was quite cool so obviously you've got your little uh, tvs like everything just sits in here very nicely um and yeah yeah the radio is really cute the radios from the spa pack uh, yeah they just work so nicely for me so that's the downstairs and then if you go upstairs you've got like another seating area out here i thought with a nice wooden bench <laughs> and lots of doors um i hate the kids bedrooms i'll be honest with you i cannot design kids bedrooms for the life of me so this is what i just came up with and then i did that in like literally like two minutes and i was like i'm done i don't want to look at it anymore um this one is using a lot of custom content um this one's using a lot of i think uh, i can't remember off the top of my head who it is now uh, i don't know if it's maxis or um hey harry or someone else but it's it's someone it's someone and i just absolutely loved the theme and i thought like a little toddler can have that room um absolutely loved it and then in here just a family bathroom really standard just family bathroom nothing special uh, and then the parents room are gone for a very green theme um a very over the top very disgusting almost um walk-in wardrobe which i wish had mirrors on it but we make do we make do uh, and then in here this is like the uh, parents bathroom the en suite which i i love i'm obsessed with the color scheme i just everything was like blue and yellow and it just really worked like i love it i got blue and yellow and it goes into green I think that's quite cool. In my head, I really like that. Um, yeah, I just I just love that. Um, and that was, I think that was that for that bit. So if you just go zoom out back, I didn't really want to do the space like at all. So I popped a little like veranda up here and stuff like that. You got the little um, climbing frame and stuff. And that door is off the the the, the dining room. Um, and then the other doorway, this one takes you out onto like the balcony. So you've got this like balcony that overlooks the lake, which I, I just love, which I want in my house. <laughs> um, and then like just down here, you've got this, just a little sunbathing area. And you can look out over the lake again. And that was, that's, I think that's it. I think that was my whole entire lot. Um, I'm at, I just absolutely love it. Where's he? Is he just watching TV again? Yeah, he's just watching TV. There's nothing else to do here, apparently, apart from watch TV, even though I've done those of stuff. But I do want to upload this to the gallery. Um, for anyone to download, of course. Um, <laughs> it's a very... Um, um, what do I call it? The, the village, I guess. Because that's what it is, is the village. I've never ever built anything as big. So I'm quite proud of it. I don't even know how many beds it is. Um, let me think about this. You got one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I guess it's a six bed location. Bathroom wise, I'm gonna say like, I don't even know. One, two, three, four, five, six again. I think it's six, six bathroom one. Um, and I guess like, hey, I built a village. Oh, not all caps though. <laughs> like, hey, I built a village. I'm very proud of it. I'm very proud. <laughs> I've never stuck with a build for this long. Um, so that is up in my gallery under Kokoala 576. So if you want to download it, we'll have a look at it. It's, it's now up there. So absolutely crack on, have some fun. Um, I don't know what to do now. Do I start my next build? I don't know. I'm not inspired to build anything yet. Uh, do I think? Do I have? Yeah, my sim self is on there. Like the sim I'm using for this is my sim self. Um, can I go to the gallery from here? Let's just put that on my page. Um, yeah, I'll just show you. I think if I go on to me. Uh, yeah, there you go. Code qualify sim six. Um, all my builds are on here. Everything, everything I make is on here. So I think I am quite far back now here. I made this ages ago, I might update it, but um, that, that's me when it, if it wants to load. Uh, it's called Koala, so if you uh, want to play with him, absolutely do. Um, just pretty standard sim, just 
normal. <laughs> um, but yeah. No, I'm just very happy overall with the outcome of this. Like, I just love every house for its own little reason. And wouldn't change it for the world. <laughs> um, but I don't know if I want to build anything else today. I'm kind of like built out recently like this has taken it out of me and i need to plan my next idea because when i stream i like to do big long ones um but i might jump on stream again tomorrow tomorrow yeah tomorrow i might do another stream and i might do like a small build it'll probably be roughly about the same time maybe maybe about eight o'clock on my start my time so about half an hour later than today so if you're around feel free to jump on Feel free to have some fun. I appreciate everyone that jumps in, even if you don't talk, it doesn't bother me. Like, if you're just here to chill. Um, yeah, and you too, you have a great weekend too. Um, hopefully see you around soon. And yeah, I've had some fun tonight. So thank you guys. Thank you, Nava. Made my day. <laughs> um, and I shall see you all in the next one. Bye guys. <laughs>